way. Okay. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Doing more pickling today. Ran a ton of errands yesterday. Got all the wood we need. The one thing I'm still missing is a shower stall. Go back. Come on, bub. Let's go. So, continuing the work. The bathroom is coming along when I was running errands. Jim went ahead. The cabinet in. I got the face materials yesterday. Shower is going to go right here. 32 by 32 shower stall. Composting toilet. Countertop sink. All the sinks, even at Restore, Habitat for Humanity. They would come out to like right here. And they're pretty wide, which would be right in the way of the composting toilet. So I think what we're going to do is use what's left over from the countertop to come out just a little bit. Just a bowl with a faucet next to it. Save some space that way. Back here we got our cabinets all figured out. This is a side and front view. Jim drew Kobuck right there with his bushy tail. But this is the side view. See the curvature of the roof? Um, see if I can explain this to you. This is going to be the clothes rack. It's going to extend all the way out where these are going to be drawers. And this area where it's going to go is uh, four feet deep. So instead of making these four feet deep, you get, like my fingernail polish, it's from that pickling. I can't get it off my fingernails. But that's going to be, uh, there's going to be a shelf right here, and these are going to be pushed back. So you see that line right there? That is the cabin instead of going four feet out. They're going to be back a bit. There's going to be a shelf right there. Jim and Debbie want to get their house in the market. They're selling their house, moving into their bus. We're actually shifting over to uh, getting their house ready. They want to put it on the market by the first, which is in two or three days. So we're going to shift from the bus. I'm just out here this morning doing more of the pickling because this is the only time of day that I can do it. It's so dry here. Uh, the pickling just, it just dries so stinking quick. And if it's hot, it's even quicker. And it's usually five to 10 degrees hotter in the bus. With that in mind, when it's like 90 degrees out here, 95 degrees, it's like 105 in the bus. So the pickling doesn't have time to set up and it leaves, you know, some, uh, some of these marks like that. But that's, this area is not a big deal. You can kind of see how it goes from solid to not so solid, because this is where the cabin's gonna go. In places like the bathroom, I just do it fairly light, and then I'm gonna go over it again. So this area up here, you can see, well, the light's pretty crazy right now, but this is all fairly uniform. That is because I did two coats, and I am about to do two coats in the bathroom that you just saw that's pickled and I'm gonna do two coats over here the kitchen is completely redesigned might have Jim here to explain it to you but we're completely redesigning the, the kitchen area what we're running into if the stove was right here the fridge came out to right here and there would have been just a narrow little passageway uh, and it was essentially just once things actually got in here, practical things that I didn't think about, like this divider wall would have been in front of the window, needed two inches there, which push this divider wall back, but at the same time, you have to add three quarter. That pushed the fridge back, and with the stove, having the face on the stove added an extra three inches. So it was just as we were building, things just accumulated to make that not the best. We're deviating from that, but I am getting to work. As you can see, sun's just coming up.
this the favorite bed you've ever built? No, no, <laughs> no, no. I built one for a water bed one time. It's called a floating bed for us. And so you paint, you painted this stuff underneath flat black, and uh, it looked you couldn't see anything underneath. It looked like it was floating six inches off the ground. That was a fun one to make. It was made out of tuba sixes. But this has been a fun one since you were helping me. <laughs> okay, so we're ready for hinges. Well, I'm going to eat real quick, head to the store, grab the rest of the stuff on my list. Mm -hmm. If you see right there. So pickling, fly trap, hinges, more 2x3s, or do I need to get two, more 2x3s? Let's think about what we have to do. I don't know of any, but you know, that doesn't mean we're not going to. <laughs> I, don't, I can't think of anything right now that will use two of threes. Well, you can always grab more. Okay, so with the pickling, one thing need to, uh, that I just realized, the stuff I got was on sale. Hopefully they have some more. Okay. Uh, ask about the shower. I'm going to ask and see if they have a broken or cracked or slightly dented 32 by 32 shower. Fly trap. Flies are terrible today. They've been terrible the last couple days. And hinges on my two by three. All right, let's do it. Yeah. 